Alright, what is up guys? It is Nisho here, and uh, today I just want to talk to you guys about a, a zoo build that I saw for the next format of July 1st for the OCG. Not for the CCG, because, you know, zoos are s still the same pretty much, and we haven't seen the August list yet. But uh, I know that for Worlds, uh, the list for zoos will follow the, um, the OCG ban list, so... Yeah, zoos probably won't be played as much um, during Worlds. So, um, as you can see here, uh, I'm just go through it. It's three Thoroughblade, three Whiptail, three, three of the Bunny Girl, um, one Rat, one Ram Ram, triple uh, Ghost Ash. I, I keep forgetting her English name, man. Um, Joyous Ash, there it is. Uh, three, triple Winter Cherries, Triple Maxi, and two Gamsio. Um, spells being Triple Pot of Desires, Triple Cosmic Cyclone, Double Dark Hole, Double Fire Formation Tanky, one Pot of Avarice, one Monster Born, one Harpy Sweater Duster. And the traps being two Solemn Strike, one Solemn Morning, one Solemn Judgment, one Mirror Force, and two Zodiac Combo. Okay, so starting off with my initial thoughts about the main deck, it's uh, it's like it's funny to see zoos still being played, and hand traps are being used to their maximum potential here, definitely, because um, you definitely see the triple joyous ash, the triple winter cherries, the triple maxi, and the double gam. Uh, well, I don't know if gam seals considered hand trap. Kaijus are just dropping on them. Uh, yeah, I guess you could call it a hand trap. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I just, you know, it's, it's so weird just to see this deck still being played with how much it got hit with no barrage, no anything like that. And I, I think it's mainly because of the fact that, that this deck still gets one monster exceeds. And, you know, I've been noticing with a lot of, um, decks at top in Japan recently is that, you know, like they always bring their hand traps to the extreme. It's like hand traps have become the best new thing in Yu-Gi-Oh! So everybody's using them now. And especially with how good Joy Sash is, I think there's like little excuse not to use it, honestly. I mean, unless you're like broke. <laughs> but that that's really it, man. I, I mean, other than that, I mean, this this deck looks looks pretty straightforward. It looks like a, it still has that terrible side, but with with the way the zoos um, are now, it seems like they're going to have to be more focused on uh, building up a single exceed rather than, you know, like comboing, getting like four to five exceeds out in one turn. It's like, it seems like it's going to have to build more on one or two Zodiac exceed monsters, especially with the rules of Link format. Um, so, yeah, uh, I, I do think it um, it's going to be a deck that's going to focus a lot on a like hoarding its uh exceed materials into uh into a single monster and uh you'll see what i mean so uh we have an extra and a side deck here um let's just go over to side deck first because the extra deck is going to be a lot to talk about so one slumber i think slumber is limited over there so um i think it's understandable uh double well not double uh one of each of the um, the insect kaijus. I don't know what that wind one is, um, but I know that's Cumungus right there as well. Uh, double Skullmeister again. You know, OCG is going ham on the hand traps. Uh, singular Imperial Order because you know it was uh, po um, not power creep uh, errated and double forbidden chalice double mind control which i do think will start seeing play again especially with how easy links are to summon uh mind control definitely will be a card that will allow you to take your opponent's monster and then use it for a link summon it's gonna be real crazy especially with link monsters in general i mean think about it if, if you take their um link monster and you put it into your extra monster zone like, you're going to have a Link monster for a turn, it's <laughs> which is actually pretty crazy, uh, if you think about it. Uh, double Dimensional Barrier, 
Um, it should stop Link Monsters. I'm not entirely sure if it does, but it should. Um, as as well as, you know, all the other monster card types that there are out right now. You know, like Synchro, Virtual Exceed, Pendulum. So, it definitely is still a strong card. And Triple um, Different Dimension Ground, I think it's called. Uh, it it just, for, for a turn, any card that's sent to the graveyard is banished instead. So, it's like a temporary Macro Cosmos. And, you know, since it's a normal trap, you know, it, it doesn't... If your opponent tries to MST it or something, you just chain it. So, in the middle there, you see, like, uh, English cards, which is kind of funny, because, you know, it's like, um, J Japan showing off their English cards like we show off Japanese cards, you know. It, it, <laughs> you just realize how silly, you, like, you don't realize how silly it looks until they start doing it as well. So, um, on the extra deck side, we have Triple Tiger Mortar, Triple Laika, or Chakanine, as it's called in TCG, Triple uh, Borbo, Borbo. Uh, double Hammer Kong, uh, one Mrs. Radiant, one Proxy Dragon, one Shashula, one uh, Denglong, and one Empty Slot. And the Empty Slot is simply there because this guy is playing Triple Winter Cherries in the main. And so Triple Winter Cherries, you know, um, it's it, I think it's understandable that it, it's hard to decide, you know, like what actually is going to be relevant moving on. Because we are still at the beginning of the format. Or going to be, well, we, we haven't started that format yet, but it's like, um, it, it feels like uh, when that format starts, it's going to be a wild card at first. So maybe, you know, just wanted to keep that slot open. And then once we see what's meta as the meta develops for the OCG in uh, July, we'll, we'll be able to um, break down what that last monster should be, the, the real crucial monster to a lot of strategies. I, if, if it were up to me, I, I would probably say, um, I will probably say Firewall Dragon right now, just, just to be safe, like Firewall, Firewall Dragon or, or Deco Talker, but, um, that's all based on opinion. So, the Triple Tiger Mortar, um, as I did state earlier, like, I, I would explain the extra deck, uh, so the way that zoos play now, like, um, I feel like it's a lot more based on you know, singular exceed monsters and rather than like comboing into like four or five of them in one turn. And so you want to build up the materials on a single zoo exceed monster because if you, uh, if you forgot the way the zoos work is that they gain attack equal to, um, each, uh, zodiac monster material they have on them. And so something like Tiger Mortar where you can manipulate, um, which materials you have on your uh, Zodiac Exceed monsters can definitely be helpful. And, you know, it made me think as to why people still play Rat, even though he's only at one, and it's like, okay, your Rat can dump uh, any Zodiac Exceed, uh, well, not Exceed, any Zodiac monster from your deck, so you could uh, dump a Thoroughblade, and then when you go into your Tiger Mortar, you can either detach, like, um, what a bo like one of the Exceeds under her, or you can detach the Rat, and go into and put a thoroughblade under her and she'll have more attack you know so definitely is something to think about and also with links as well um link monsters also um you know uh zodiacs may not be able to bring out multiple monsters per turn but with Lyca and uh, her ability to bring out zoo monsters from the graveyard if you just summon her off of like one rat and then you use like a detach the rat to summon out uh, whatever monster you milled like normally you probably want to do that you probably go into borbo and then into hammer kong and then to Leica, or just borbo into Leica, because you know you, you don't want because you kind of want to stack up your uh your extra deck i mean not your extra deck, your your graveyard with zodiac monsters um since you're playing zodiac combo because uh Zodiac combo lets you shuffle them back to, to draw, and same thing with Pot of Avarice, it lets you shuffle your uh, your monsters back to draw cards. Um, so, it's definitely going to be something that you're going to be wanting to do more often. And, um, yeah, I mean, other than that, we have Hammer Kong, which just stops uh, Zodiacs from being targeted, but it, it doesn't really... 
but it isn't really that useful because you have to detach from it every end phase and borbo borbo is just still there i don't think his effect's all that useful either um but he is still um an underbody you can go into the deck does it, it is kind of sad like it, it's kind it's a little pathetic as well to see the deck without um <laughs> its best cards in it you know honestly because it, it just feels like you're just like it feels like it's finally been like killed you know like it, it feels like this deck no longer feels like a threat anymore and uh, i i can't tell if that's the case or not yet but you know that that's what is what i'm feeling right now i'm feeling like this deck may not get as far as it used to definitely since you know uh broad has gone so there's gonna be a lot less searching a lot less pluses in in the individual deck but um this deck does still have Tenki, does still have Desires, does still have all its hand traps. Um, it does still have a, a good number of Zodiac monsters to use and a good number of Zodiac Exceeds you can go into. You know, four Exceed monsters based on a single archetype is more than some archetypes can even dream of having right now. So it does still have a lot of good support. And uh, Link monsters are a thing, so the game did get a bit slower. So, um, you know... It, it, it may not change uh, the deck too much, but it definitely will affect how the game is played moving forward. Or how Zodiacs play moving forward, said the game. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say for now. I'm just showing you guys what Link's, I mean, not what, what Zodiac looked like after Link format. Um, and it definitely is interesting. I, I am, I do want to see how this deck does moving forward. But honestly, my prediction right now is that it, it isn't as strong as it used to be. But that's just my opinion. This was Nishro here. Nishro out.